Hello humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and this is a special Super Smash Bros. Ultimate preview video that was recorded at San Diego Comic Con's preview night. It's worth noting that Nintendo has some pretty heavy embargo rules on this, and that means that I actually do have to commentate this match. That's one of their embargo rules, so please bear with me. But I hope that the commentary that I provide will be of some relevance to you guys. It's also worth noting that this is a demo build of the game. This is not the final version of the game. There's still changes being made. There's still development being done. So don't interpret this video of me being like, this is how the game's gonna look in the end because there are a lot of changes that are still gonna be made. But from what I understand in this demo, things still look fantastic. Special shout out to Ash Paulson, who was the guy who recorded this match and generously shared his footage with me. So thank you, Ash. So I don't know if you guys just saw that, but Mewtwo stole my point right there. I summoned Bellossom, and then I used a smash attack as the Ice Climbers to KO Fox, but because Fox hit the checkpoint, and Mewtwo hit the checkpoint first, making the checkpoint Mewtwo's checkpoint, Mewtwo got the point. As for the characters, the characters are Mewtwo, Ice Climbers, and Fox. Ash Paulson from Game Explain was playing as Mewtwo, I was Ice Climbers, and a representative at the kiosk we were recording at named Dennis was playing as Fox. For now, this is a three-player match on Green Hill Zone, which is a stage that debuted in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And even though it appeared in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, I gotta say, this stage looks absolutely gorgeous here. I love the philosophy that the designers are taking with the stages in this game, and that they're not remaking the stages exactly how they were necessarily, but they're remaking them as you remembered them. And what I mean by that is, this stage did not look this gorgeous in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It had the same mechanic, sure, with the checkpoints and the breaking floor, but the actual stage is so vibrant and colorful and they wanted to capture that in this version. The background is now crisp, all the stages are so colorful and bright and vibrant and oh, it's so good and hopefully this stage helps represent that. In terms of Ice Climbers, as you might know, they weren't in Super Smash Bros. for 3DS or Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, so it's been a few years since they were last playable and they're definitely different in this game. They have a lot of differences. You can't chain grab with them anymore, you can't really wobble, but in exchange, a lot of their attacks have a ton of knockback, especially their aerial attacks. I'm kind of trying to get adjusted to the Ice Climbers, so forgive me if the gameplay I have in this video isn't the best, but man, their aerial attacks are super strong. There's also a few other interesting details about the Ice Climbers that I want to point out. I'm using a costume that I used to use in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, this black and white costume. This costume is not new, and it also makes Nana, the female Ice Climber, the more dominant one. So technically, the second climber in this costume is Popo. Another detail about the Ice Climbers, which is a bit different from other characters that carry weapons, whenever they face the opposite direction, their hammer switches to the opposite hand. I don't know why that's the case with the Ice Climbers, but in case you want to feel paranoid, you can see that the hammer changes their hands. And so I figured this was a good opportunity to showcase this mechanic. If you use the Ice Blocks as Ice Climbers on an opponent with high percentage, you'll actually freeze them. So since this stage has a slope, I did that to Mewtwo, and then I smashed him out of here and won the match. Woo! All in all, this was a fun match. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Ash Paulson from Game Explain for the footage. Thank you very much, Nintendo of America, for inviting me to this event. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, everyone. If you enjoyed what you saw and want to see more, be sure to click the subscribe icon underneath the video. Be sure to click on the bell icon to be notified when a new video is out. Also, one of the best ways to support me is to follow me on Twitter. On there, you can see announcements, updates, and previews for all of my upcoming content. My tag is at Schiller. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in future videos. Whoosh!